Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. In this, we probably need to find a way to pay back the $15 we owe Bonnie. And from the looks of it, the only thing we have going on our map right now would be one of her missions. And this will probably go a long way in terms of paying off our uh, debt to her. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. See, that might be confused for being a witty comment, but actually we don't get any money from winning or losing this, which makes Bonnie a liar. And I had to call her out on that. Also, during that cutscene, I did some math, and it turns out 15 bucks back around the turn of the century was equal to about $360, which is, as you know, quite a lot. And I can't believe inflation has actually gone up that much. So let's get in our horse, which I still haven't named yet. I guess I'll just... Three, Call him Mr. Steed. Two, I don't know. One, okay, go. let's do this. Also, that was on the count of one, not three. You don't know me but yeah, this is a uh, horse race. You couldn't really have a Rockstar game without a race of some sorts. And it follows the same premise. You have these checkpoints you're supposed to run over your horse. Instead of being sci-fi glowing things, they're now the more realistic, unsupervised campfires. Probably as dangerous as they sound. This isn't a hard race, and the secret is just how you uh, time your button presses. You gotta be a little rhythmic. You can't really just slam on the X button without the stamina meter falling, and then once that happens, your horse will fling you right off, and chances are you'll lose the race by then. And hold on. Okay. Anyway, and like that prompt says, you will run faster on the road, so it's. Maybe you need an off-road horse to do good off-road. I don't know. But slow and steady wins the race. Eventually. This isn't a long race, but... It should hold true. Still unbelievably dangerous. Oh well. Wouldn't be the Old West without some danger. As you can see, I try to stick to staying about 50% stamina leaving the other half for like a uh, needed speed boost, like if I can catch up to her and I need to slightly edge ahead, I'll use it. And from the looks of it, we are catching up little by little. I don't know if that's programming the game to happen. I know you can lose, don't, don't ask. I mean, it's not like I can ever lose a mission in this. Oh, I did already, didn't I? It's not like I can lose two missions in this. Oh! By the way, you saw how I went past that campfire? They seem a whole lot more uh, lenient. You don't have to really go on top of the don't campfire. You kind of circle around. It's not, it doesn't really give you that many options, but it's still something to consider. Come on, Mr. Oh, pulling out ahead, aren't we? Slam on that stamina. Let's go! Woo. I have got you now! 
Another way to tell your if your horse is low on stamina, the controller I think you will rumble, chose the wrong which I can't really recreate for the LP. Yeah. I guess you can shake your computer monitor every time you see you get low to kind of get the full experience. Can I wait for you to catch up? Oh. See, we're killing her now. This isn't even one of the best horses. Are this you is saving one of the, the best uh, for last? More standard ones. Way to go, Mr. Steed. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. Ah, you tell that woman who saved your life. Well, you suck. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Okay, just gonna chill, smoke. Uh, see, fame, but no money. Thanks, Bonnie. Anyway, we have a new um mission giver on the map. Let's see, he's an armadillo, and he would have something regarding Williamson. But first, let's check over here. I'm not sure if they play at this time of the day, but we can certainly check. See? That little star poker chip looking icon is a, obviously stands for a uh, poker game, which isn't going on considering it's like, what, 9 a.m. in the morning? Can't say I blame them. Oh well, I guess we go back to doing the Bonnie missions. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> light sexism. Cool. So I guess this counts as the uh, minivan or pickup truck of the Old West. It's not really the manliest vehicle. It's too yeah. horsepower, though. You're looking much better, That's something. considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm Bird. not, miss. Bird. Yes, you... Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Armadillo. thanks. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. By killing that bird, we have access to challenges now. Let me just find it. It's kind of hidden away. Oh, wait. Okay, if we kill four more birds, we'll become closer to becoming a legend of the West. Phase to kill. Not humans, though. Not humans. That's bad. That is why you don't have the easy aim on. No, well, bulletproof birds. What can you do? have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go away from snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I wonder if her calling us stupid, by extension, would be calling me stupid. Oh well. <laughs> wow, he's controlling that with his mind, I guess. Anyway, we're in Armadillo again. 
Data. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Okay, we're off to buy some medicine in the town of Armadillo. There's the gun shop. We don't have any other icons on the map, which means we probably have to finish this mission before unlocking shops. Okay. This guy's really creepy, and I don't know why. And he sells apples, chewing tobacco, and medicine. So he's more of a apple and tobacco vendor than he is a medicine vendor. And he's terrifying. Look at that. Okay, okay. The less I think about him, the better. Okay, let's take a look at our satchel. We have medicine, basic campsite, no provisions for right now. Uh, campsites refill our ammo. I guess from the fire god. Who knows? Medicine, of course, completely restores our health, which slowly regenerates anyway, but I guess in the heat of battle it would come in handy. Almost as if it's foreshadowing something. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. If my math was correct, then the medicine would also be roughly 360 something dollars. And also means she used the medicine on us, which is some nice continuity. Okay, uh, stagecoaches are the taxi system. We can use them to go back to Bonnie's ranch, but first, uh, let's, let's see if they have any guns. Maybe down a giveaway free samples. Do they do that gun shops? I don't know. We'll find out. Nope, can't even afford bait. Oh well. And you might notice this town is similar to the one of Almeri and the Good and the Bad and the Ugly, and seems like the developers wear a lot of their influences on their sleeves. They're obviously not too picky about what Western they use as influence, considering that they're only a handful of Western games to begin with. Arguably, this can be a mashup of, like, every small Western town in any type of fiction just rolled into one, and I think it came out perfectly in that regard. Hey, Five Finger Filet. You know that game where you have a knife and you stab it between your fingers? It's real fun. Kids play it all the time. I guess it's not open now. It's fun, though. Take my word for it. And it looks like we don't have enough cash to purchase the hotel. Hey. Hey, hold on a minute. Hold on. Fashionable, sir. Really? Stop messing with the camera by poking my nose. Prospect of dying. Oh, Finger sure, smells. Mine, hey, it would be a western game without duels. It would be a western without duels. It would be a game without duels. Anyway, Tobias Weldon's going down. Okay, we can either grab the gun instantly or slowly reach towards it. I prefer to go for the fast approach. As you can see, we're in bullet time now. And I'm just going to aim for its head. Oh, poor guy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> well, I succeed in uh, freaking everyone out. I'm sure this is doing wonders for my reputation. But actually, we did get 20 fame from that, so I guess it helped. I don't know. Let's check out the stagecoaches real quick. Oh, no, they hate us too? Whatever. Fine, I don't need to take your taxi service anyway. I'll find out what the marshal wants. 
Maybe he can give us enough money to afford the room up in the uh, saloon.